I understand this is a film you really sort of pushed to make. Yeah, you know, once I had finally heard the story from uh, my parish priest, uh, Father Ed, uh, and it actually, you know, kind of sunk in. I was like, wow, this is definitely a movie that I need to make. And that was uh, the start of a very long journey that took six years to get here. Yeah. And uh, did you sort of uh, approach him over the course of that time as you were uh, sort of moving uh, to make that movie? What? Yeah. Uh, he was kind of working as a consultant, and then, you know, I kind of had to go off on my own and figure it out. It was a long and lengthy process. I had started out with David O. Russell, uh, who I made the fighter, I Heart Huckabees, and Three Kings with. And then we had one draft of the screenplay written that didn't work, and then I kind of went off, and I was able to f find and partner up with Rosalind Ross. Mm -hmm. She wrote the script that we wanted to make, and then I felt like if she could put it on the page, she could definitely put it on the screen. And uh, we decided to give decided to give her uh, her first chance at uh, you know directing a film. And as you were going through, I guess, sort of drafts of that film, what was sort of the important points of the story that you wanted to capture? Well, to really capture Stu's essence. Um, you know, he was such a bright and colorful guy, larger than life character who um, had to overcome quite a bit. And so we wanted to, we wanted to make sure that there was a great balance of humor and heart and emotion. Um, and obviously, he had. Uh, suffered greatly because of, you know, his uh, incurable disease, IBM, but he also uh, utilized that suffering to get closer to God, and, and uh, he did a lot of great work in a short amount of time. Yeah, and, and how did you go about stepping into that role? I understand you had to do a bit of a physical transformation as well. Well, there was a physical transformation. There was also me preparing. Uh, I, would, I did or served a mass every week for quite some time as the priest, kind of filling in those duties uh, to know what that was like. There was all types of preparation. Um, but, you know, I wanted to really become the part. So then when we had the, the 30 days to shoot it, you know, we were shooting sometimes five, six scenes a day. So you had to really be prepared and, you know, you didn't have too much time to figure it out on the day. You needed to be prepared coming in. And especially as you were filling in at Mass, I wasn't aware of that part. Was there anything you sort of learned in, in that process in particular? Uh, no, I had been to Mass enough, but to actually be up there and performing uh, those duties myself, it was, uh, it was quite interesting. Yeah. And as audience members are sort of coming into this movie, uh, I believe it's uh, releasing sort of around Easter time, what are mm -hmm. you hoping that they absorb? What do you hope the, the takeaway is? From well, the great thing about it is everybody feels personally connected to Stu's story. They can relate to and identify with it in some sort of personal way. But I think hopefully people will come out, um, you know, excited about doing more, doing their part, helping others. Um, hopefully, you know, they, they have a, a renewed connection to their faith and they have hope and uh, want to love more and, and help people and, you know, uh, we want to bring people together. Yeah, I guess just as a final question. Are you going to see the movie tonight? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to stick right. around for it. Right. I'm looking forward to it. Right. What's, the, what, what's maybe your favorite part of having worked on the film, stepping into Stu's shoes? And, uh, uh, well, the best part of it was, you know, showing the movie to, to Bill Long last night and Father Bart, who was Stu's best friend, also, you know, a fellow, se he was in the seminary with Stu. So to see them really appreciate the movie and for them it's sitting in an audience and watching people laughing and crying and then really kind of, you know, applauding Bill for all that he was able to kind of go through and, and uh, you know, the extraordinary stuff that, that, that Stu did and how he supported his son. Excellent. Well, yeah, we'll hopefully see some of those same reactions as people are getting a chance to see it tonight then. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I hope people understand there's a little bit of language in the film, but it's, uh, it's important. It's important to make it as, as realistic as possible. You know, we wanted to really kind of make it authentic. We weren't worrying about, you know, uh, we didn't want to make the typical faith-based movie, right? It really only preaches to the choir. We wanted to make a movie that really is for everybody. Well, so, I'm looking forward to watching it. Uh, Thank you. Congratulations on the film. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Thanks.